Hello, gorgeous souls. How are we doing? How are we doing today? Hope we've had an amazing day. <laughs> today I'm going to do our Dreamtime deck, our gorgeous Dreamtime deck, and it's already perfect, as always. Can't complain. <sighs> I hope you started your day with a beautiful smile on your face. Hello, Matthew. How you doing, buddy? We are reading from our beautiful Dreamtime deck tonight. And let's see what is our first card. We're right near the end of the deck. I had Waterfall, but we've had Waterfall a few times and it's um <clears throat> we've already repeated a few times that we need to connect with our water within our bodies within creeks, within the oceans, within our baths, a beautiful salt bath, or a beautiful soaking shower. Our very first card tonight is a walkabout, and how perfect is this for us? Absolutely perfect. We all need to go a little walkabout sometimes, don't we? And if you don't know what walkabout means, well, it's our beautiful Aboriginal term for going and connecting with the earth, basically. Going and finding yourself. Let's see, what does walkabout say? Bare feet, connecting with the earth. In some parts of Australia, the term walkabout refers to the right to a rite of passage undertaken by a young male. But for me, growing up, the term was used by my elders to describe the connection they had to the land. Hello Simone, how my gorgeous girl? You need to send me some um, details. I would like to send you a prize, my gorgeous girl. You are always on every single night and I think you're deserving of a prize. It is the term that used to explain the meditation like walks. They regularly talk through their country. These walks were usually done on bare feet and were very meaningful and were considered an important part of caring for the land that they lived on. I walk bare feet just about everywhere I go, except maybe even in supermarkets sometimes, but anywhere I go, I teach yoga with bare feet, so I get to walk in with thongs and do the rest of my class on bare feet. It's awesome. If you do not walk the country that you live on and you allow it the opportunity to speak, or the chance for your environment to communicate what it needs, then how are you to know what it is you are needed and what is needed from you? When you draw this card, is it an indication that it is time to get outside and enjoy the natural world? Take your shoes off and maybe you can clear your local area of any rubbish or you may be aware of the impact that it has been affected on your environment. Walkabout is associated with the meaning of full connections, time spent outdoors and allowing yourself to be conscious of the footprints that you leave behind on this precious earth. So that is very precious indeed. We need to go and connect with the earth. Go ground yourself with your bare feet, even your hands in the earth. Again, we need to just go for a walk and just let that beautiful fresh air into our hearts, into our bodies, into our minds. Ground. This beautiful card is always a reminder. It's the first time we've had this one in this deck, but 
we have it in other decks as well. So walk about. And again, perfect for us. River, movement. Again, the body must move. We are not made to stay still. We are made to move. And that's why we should always get connected with the earth and ground. We should also know what our bodies are capable of and what our minds are capable of. And river as well. A beautiful card to connect with to get back to the water again. Let's see. River and movement. Like that beautiful serpentine movement. I've been promoting my beautiful fluid-like movement with my yoga recently, especially the last couple of weeks. I always try to do it, but even more so recently as we are coming into a different time and it is time to connect. It really is with yourself, with the universe, with the earth. I know it might sound a bit cliche-ish, but it is true. And so we just need to do it. Why be stuck in a house? Why have to force yourself to do something that you do not want to do? We were born on this beautiful natural world in natural resources. We didn't have technology. We didn't have all this crap to clutter our minds and our beautiful souls with. We had much more, much more connection with the earth. So let's see what river and movement represent. So this beautiful Laura Bowen, this is who is talking in this book. My hometown of Balingan in half of it is a largest river that flows from the mountain out to the headland of Urunga. It is a place to swim during summer to observe the mullet spawning in the late winter and early spring. It can also be a destructive surging mass of dirty brown water and debris during times of flooding, which are very common in our little valley. The river represents movements. The water has a source of a source and a destination, but it doesn't always flow straight on its journey between these two. It meanders between twists and around the environment it encounters and chooses the easiest path. The river is associated with emotions. We just did our sacral journey last week. All week we did our sacral journey last week. And again, coming back to our water roots. We are 75% of water in our bodies. We really need to connect with the water, with the earth. It's a repetitive motion. We need to do it. The river is associated with emotions, which often flow and change direction depending on the obstacles encountered along the way. And sometimes your emotions may seem to almost dry up and you find yourself stagnant and stuck. Often it will take an outpouring of emotions to fix this, like the floods that clear out the debris. Your tears can help you let go of your emotions and toxins. And last week, I think I spent about four days crying, like a little baby, just getting it all out, releasing all those yucky toxins. Hey, Becky, how you doing, gorgeous? So releasing those toxins, letting them go like a big, beautiful river, letting it flow. Water is fluid and a giver of life. Some Aboriginal language groups use rivers for birthing, and because of this, they are also associated with supporting new life and growth. In some places, the river's water is shallow. In others, the current is strong and it is hard to fight against the pressure to be propelled forward. There is also places of stillness and deep, dark depths where you can rest and allow yourself to heal. The message of the river card is to let yourself move through the emotions, cry if you need to, and don't be afraid of change and direction or to choose a path of least resistance. How absolutely beautiful is that? Hey Terry, hey buddy. We're doing our beautiful dream time tonight and perfect cards for us again. We had river and movement for our second card. A beautiful river and movements. 
and for our first card we had walk about and bare feet and again we really need to embrace our earth nature our water nature we need to embrace it all embrace all the elements that you can that is what we are made of for crying out loud embrace it i'm going to do maybe one or two more cards i'm doing from our buddha <laughs> oh this is hilarious it's not hilarious okay the force of the flowing river causes the flowers the herbs and the trees to grow the sacred wisdom wisdom is in your heart and has magical power for your spiritual growth and what was our card just before river and movement you need to spiritually grow as well I'm so happy with that reading tonight. How amazing was that? And how perfect is this beautiful, beautiful deck? Our beautiful Aboriginal Dreamtime deck. These Aboriginal decks are just really resonating with my heart at the moment. They are just so beautiful. My Isaac deck, my Isis deck, my Earth Warriors deck, they all represent that beautiful communication with the elements as all cards do in these beautiful oracle readings but just more so in certain decks so with that being have a gorgeous night have sweet sweet dreams i'll see you tomorrow love you guys cosmic kisses